In our You Decide 2024 coverage, we are just four days out from Election Day. Big crowds and long lines continued today. Here's some drone video we shot at the two early voting locations in Tulsa County. One's at the new election board headquarters there on the left in East Tulsa, and also the other one on the right, the old headquarters downtown. So many yes. people. Fox 23 anchor Rick Marinon is live at the downtown location for us tonight with a look at why people say those lines didn't scare them away. And they, they're they still here. Look at this line. It still continues. As far as I can tell, it goes all the way around the building still. And there's also that handicap line on the other side. But many people tell me they really feel in their heart. This one is a big one and they can't sit it out. Day three of early voting in Tulsa County. I've always been a fan of voting. I think it's one of our duties as a citizen. So I've, it's, ne it's never been a question for me. I just think it's part of our role as a citizen. Inside the lines at both polling locations, we heard some big reasons why people say it was worth the wait. I think with all the strife and everything that's been out there, it, there's a release of stress just to get the voting done. <laughs> Every four years, voters hear from politicians telling them that this is the most important election in their lifetime. But the voters I spoke with say, this time it's not just a phrase it's what they feel in their hearts i just figure this election's too important so i'm going to get out and vote early and and bank my vote some have plans some just want to get it over with but all of them feel this election is too big to sit out i'm just hoping for a change in oklahoma the tulsa county election board says on this day alone before 11 a.m 2086 people voted early on friday and that number was given while hundreds were still waiting in line. Were you ever dis discouraged by the length of the line? No, because it was moving. It was really moving. And I was surprised myself. I thought I was going to be here like two or three hours. Wasn't like that at all. Across the state in counties big and small, it is the same. Election officials say if there ever was a year that could break a record, this year is the one. In the first two days alone statewide, more than 155,000 people voted early in Oklahoma. So I'm standing on a sidewalk. This is the downtown location. Keep in mind, I'm standing on a sidewalk, and many of these people are standing on a sidewalk. I did ask about yesterday's rain, because if you saw in our East Tulsa video, they're standing in a field, and it started to loop. That loop is actually a part of soggy ground that they're trying to avoid. I'm told by the election board they're going to try to look into moving some of the line into the building if it does rain, but for the most part, wear some boots, put a raincoat on, umbrella, you are going to be out in the elements probably if it does rain tomorrow during, during early voting. Live in downtown covering news that matters, I'm Rick Marin on Fox 23 News. If you didn't make it out today, early voting continues tomorrow. We were just talking about this from 8 a.m. to 2 p.m.